So this is the tutu that you're making. Um, you can see the decoration on it. It's all around the bottom edge and then radiating up through the center. And it goes onto the bodice. So you've decorated your bodice and the top plate. And then it's just to pull it all in together. It's this one piece is joined from the bodice onto the plate. So this is secured down so it won't move. So you can, there's all kinds of ways of doing decoration. On this one, it's got two layers of crystal organza for the top plate. So there's your first one. And there's your second one with all the lace laid on it. So if you look, I'm going to show you in a second the diagram of how to divide it up. So you divide it up in quarters, eighths, and use them, you thread mark them. So you got it mapped out where you're gonna, if you want to lay them really symmetrical. Or you could go freehand and do it asymmetric. Possibilities are endless, so just use your imagination. Just make sure it's not too heavy, your decoration. If it gets too heavy, it will weigh down. And when you are doing your decoration, when you go onto the bodice, keep the sides clear because your um, dancer will be getting lifted up there and you don't want these crusty beads and stuff would hurt your hand when you're getting lifted. So keep that the sides smooth. Your decoration then. Look. Hmm. Right, when you're deciding how you're going to decorate your tutu plate, if you make a circle in paper, so draft it out on paper first, so you make a circle in paper and make it I don't know, about five, six inches bigger than what your actual tutu plate is. The reason you're doing that is because your body is an oval shape and it'll be wider at the sides than it is at the front and the back. So you're going to shave some off the front to make it fit properly in the right places. So first get yourself a circle of paper. You can do it in a whole circle or just do half. And fold it, fold it in half, then in quarters, and then into eighths. And if you want it again, you could do it to sixteenths. Open it up. And that gives you all your lines. And they're all symmetrical. Once you've done that, mark them out. So you want to cut out where your body is. And your body is not a circle. Your body is an oval shape. So if you, from the center point here, if you measure roughly 15 and a half centimeters either side of the center, and from the center front, to the center front from the center and to the center back about 11 and a half centimeters and then the ones in between which are on the eighth marks will be roughly about 14 centimeters and then draw yourself an oval check that against your tutu it looks like it, it's better smaller than too big if it's too big your your um overlay won't fit properly it'll start you'll have to gather and it won't lay flat so once you've done that draw your line on the paper and then you will so you've got all these marked out then you will go 
put it onto the fabric. If you put your pattern under the fabric, you can see through and then you'll be like able to thread mark everything. So with a single thread, <clears throat> if you just thread mark all these lines and thread mark around the body line there, the high hip line. And when you've laid it over, you'll see that it's too long at the front. It might be a little bit too long at the back and the edges should reach to the edge or a bit over. Decide where you want it to end. It can end on the edge. It can be short of it. It's your choice, however you choose to decorate it. But make sure it's symmetrical, whatever, wherever you choose for the outer edge to be. So if you choose it, it's in here. You don't just want to do a circle because it, it won't look right it would still be that oval shape. So mapping out your decorations. So on this one you've got all your lines prepping so that you can map them out evenly if you want to. And then here you can start drawing on shapes that you would like. So this one's sort of inside. I've just scalloped it out. You could put a layer of organza to the edge and then just a layer, another layer with this on it over top. And then you could just add cord or beads or whatever takes you fancy, like little tails coming off it. Um, just there's lots of different ways so. Near the end of this video, I'll show you some um, past images that students did. So when you've done all this information and mapped it all out on the paper, then you can get your overlay fabric. So your overlay fabric could be organza, a silk, you could even use your net. So lots of different things, just something very light and delicate. So this is, I'm just going to put net over it. So you'd, I would keep my fabric in the square for now. Lay it over. And then you can thread mark all this decoration on it. So I would thread mark all of these lines and around your high hip line. Don't cut this out yet. Just thread mark it all. So your outer ring, your lines, your high hip where the body goes in. And then if you want to map out as well, you can map out the shape that you're going to do. And just transfer all this information by thread marking it. So once you've marked all your information on there with your thread, you can start decorating. Still, I wouldn't cut this out just yet because if you cut this out and you cut that out, the circle out, these all these lines are on the bias and they might stretch. So I'd keep it a little bit long for now. I'd work all my decoration onto it. And then you can trim it away. Because you wouldn't want to create this section here, cut it away, and then try to put your decoration on it because it would just be a nightmare. It would stretch everywhere. So keep your piece in one piece. Add your decoration and then you can trim away or you can you can cut it away or you can use a hot knife it's really nice on organs and that it seals the edge so you could cut away with a hot knife and on the waist here you can see I've left so there's your thread mark for the high hip mark this is your thread mark for the high hip mark I would leave some seam allowance 
and cut in smaller and then your opening here will be about eight inches so on your tutu plate you when you joined your net you did it about halfway so this will be slightly longer than what your back opening is on the actual plate so it's graduating in so remember how your layers were graduating in where they were joined this will be a little bit further out than what layer 10 is so don't cut all these open until you you've got your decoration done is what happens it will just start shifting around and things will stretch and it'll just become a nightmare so i'd keep it in a big piece for now get all the decoration on and then trim away depends what So that's creating your decoration, the steps. Yeah. 